The Centre for Logistic Diseases was set up in 1984 and so we've been operating here for over 31 years now. And we started off with a three-man crew and we now employ almost 50 people and it's become a clinic that develops not just clinical service for patients but new and innovative therapies that are then taken through phase three trials so that people all around the world are able to be treated. We developed in 1984 a combination therapy of three antibiotics, now known triple therapy, which cures patients' duodenal ulcers and therefore it's changed the natural history of this disease. So some of the treatments that we have invented here and devices as well that we have produced include triple therapy for Helicobacter. The next one we developed, which is now going through phase three trials, is the anti-MAP therapy for Crohn's disease. We were also the innovators who largely used the fecal microbiota transplantation or FMT methodology since 1988 and it has really expanded and progressed exponentially not to just treat patients who have Clostridium difficile that kills over 30,000 uh, patients in the US, but we've now moved it into ulcerative colitis and other inflammatory conditions. Well, the area of, uh, of uh, parasite treatment and management and whether or not they are etiologically related to uh, digestive tract symptoms is actually somewhat controversial. Um, we still have a group of people uh, who truly have the classical uh, irritable bowel uh, syndrome symptoms, uh, but there are patients in that group who truly probably don't have this condition at all and may have symptomatic parasites. We've found that uh, particularly Giardia or Entamoeba can be diagnosed uh, and treated quite easily, but there are other pathogens which I think sometimes truly are at play and are pathogenic, and they would include Dientamoeba fragilis, uh, and also blastocystis. Many patients that fit the criteria for irritable bowel syndrome that probably really don't have irritable bowel syndrome and are found if you look closely on parasite analysis to be in fact infected with parasites. The most controversial of the two parasites are Dientamoeba fragilis and blastocystis hominis. So our novel development uh, has been to use combination triple antibiotic treatment as an infusion into the terminal ileum at the time of colonoscopy and we get uh, about 94% uh, uh, successful eradication and this is over uh, a thousand patients so far. Um, I have pursued the innovation of new therapies and when you do produce something new it becomes controversial and so if you are producing a treatment for ulcers that it is thought by most is caused by acid and stress, and you start producing an antibiotic for it, of course there is disagreement by the uh, medical uh, establishment. Clostridium difficile affected my life seriously. At the stage that uh, I had it, I could barely walk. I was in absolute agony. My body did respond excellently. As far as patients are concerned, uh, patients are actually pursuing FMT via their physicians. They're requesting to be considered to have a faecal transplant because they've done their own research as to the importance of um, a healthy microbiome in regeneration of the gut. With this treatment, I'm not worried about where the next bathroom is. I'm not worried about changing jobs. I'm not worried about having to go on trips. I can eat what I like, drink what I like. You know, it's generally, life has been so much better than being the restricted lifestyle I had before entering this treatment. FMT, as we know it, will be changing in the near future, which will make it more accessible to patients and more accepting. To be able to replicate the human healthy flora into an oral, simple, encapsulated form clearly would be more ideal. So we have a full-time research department with multiple people employed. We actually have in-house laboratories and we hope to be the leaders in development of and solving of problems in insoluble areas currently. 